What's up today? I'm so excited because we get to explode your marketing efforts with, we're going to unlock 89 power words that are guaranteed to skyrocket your marketing. Let's go. What's up, Flowtech Connector? Sean back at you with another high ticket tune up. Kabam! Make sure and smash that like button. Share this out to somebody who needs to get better at sales or just better in marketing all around. And of course, if you find some value throughout this video, please smash that subscribe button. That's what I do it for, right? Because I want you to win uh, every single day, trying to bring you great tips, things that will be very valuable in your world um, and allow you to accelerate when you win. So make, make sure and smash that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about power words. I love power words. Power words are my thing. Like communication is my thing. And so we're going to talk about 89 power words guaranteed to skyrocket your marketing. Here we go. All right. So first of all, I just want to give a little framework. Like um, I was doing a lot of research and I came across a lot of different articles and in, in marketing companies, et cetera, et cetera. And um, one of the ones I found was from Jansen Communications. They came out with this thing that said, here's some categories of power words that you should be aware of. So what are the categories for the 89 power words I'm about to give you? One, cost. Like what are all the words you can use for cost that are better than the word cost? Two, superlatives. Three, size. Four, adjectives. Five, verbs. Six, adverbs. Seven, FOMO, fear of missing out. And number eight is trust. Okay. So those are the categories. Here we go. Let's dive into the first one, cost. Now you can say the word cost when you, and whenever you say anything in marketing, the best way to think about this is, is, is through some very simple filters. The first filter is if you're receiving that message, the verbal, the word, the things that are actually coming your way. Now, in the English language, just know that there's 55% of communication is nonverbal. It's body language, 55, more than half, okay? 38% of that, 37, 38, I think it's 38. 38% of that is how you say what you say. And only the last 7% are the actual words that you use. So a lot of people, when they're going to build content, one of the things they always think about is like, I got to say the perfect words. I got to write the perfect script before I can go and publish that thing. Well, listen, you don't do that. If you do that, you're wasting valuable time in order to accelerate growing your business. The thing you should be focused on is how you say what you say. Are you loud, soft, excited, fast, talking, slow speaking, whatever the case may be. Uh, and of course, the body language that you put into it, right? One of the best things you can do is raise your eyebrows up and down. Now, if you want my body language series on how to actually win in any Zoom call ever, go check it out. It's on our YouTube channel. Just go over there and check that out. That'll be sweet. Uh, but with that said, let's dive into the words. This is that 7%. This is that thing that's going to be valuable. So cost is the first category, according to Jansen Communications. And here are some of the um, 246810 power words for cost. That will help. So instead of saying cost or when it comes to talking about cost, here's some words that should work. Number one is free. If you can ever use free in your marketing or no cost, I use, I interchange no cost and free. Um, cost is the word we're trying to avoid here. So sometimes no cost doesn't make sense, but free is a great one. Discount. I personally don't really like discounts unless you're in the e-com space or unless you're um, like a big store retailer or you're selling commodities like soap or something like that, right? Because then discounts make sense. But if you try to say, hey, well, I got this discount, well, then people are going to take you that you're a discounting based organization. And that's not what we want, right? So discounts, not usually the best word that I would use there. Um, yeah, it would just be like new offer and then you would just put the price point down or whatever. Underpriced is a good one to use in marketing copy. The absolutely lowest amount, right? The other thing I would say, um, when you're talking about how much does it cost, we want to talk in terms of investment. So it's going to be like initial investment, ongoing investment, monthly investment, the absolute lowest investment, a reduced investment, a for this is going to cost a fortune. Now on the other side, a fortune obviously is going to be expensive. Um, the it's affordable. It's a competitive investment. It's a bargain that you can grab, and it's a refundable investment. So if you change the word cost for investment, and then you add some of these adjectives with your uh, marketing concepts, these power words will help you to convert more. Let's move on to the next topic. Next topic is superlatives. These are those things that basically uh, describe nouns in the sentences, if you need to know. So it's like monumental, 
Bonanza, Miracle, Greatest, Latest, Obsession. The best one to use is Magic, right? One of the things we have is uh, the eight magic questions in our Selling Ascension Method. And there's these eight magic questions that you can use. And what these magic questions, you see I'm using that word over and over and over. When I do that, what's interesting is people are like, tell me the damn magic word, Sean, because I want to know the magic. What's the magic, right? Like that's the thing. So magic is the best to use in this kind of context, highest, ultimate, surefire, unsurpassed, unconditional, and unparalleled are the other ones that you can use there. So, but again, if you're just going for one and keeping it simple, use the word magic in your marketing where it makes sense, how it makes sense, that will help you go. Next category, size, right? There's four words that you should use when you describe size, and it should start with colossal, gigantic, mammoth, or if it's really, truly the biggest, then enormous, right? And in that order. So colossal is not the biggest. Gigantic, mammoth, enormous is the flow from right to left uh, in terms of smallest to biggest. Okay, so size, colossal, gigantic, mammoth, or enormous. Let's move on to the next category. Adjectives. <clears throat> I'll start with the two main ones. If you can use the word revolutionary in your text and it doesn't sound too markety or salesy, um, I would use it. Re revolutionary is a wonderful one. The other one is outstanding, right? This is an outstanding product. People hear that word and they think, oh my God, well, they're outliers. They're outstanding. They're one of a million. They're a very unique and rare element. So using the word outstanding is going to be much more powerful than any of the other ones that are here. You could use things like powerful, authentic, practical, colorful, um, cramped, promising, astonishing, amazing, right? Exciting, revealing, sensational, surging, remarkable, daring, pioneering, or just genuine, right? Genuine, authentic, real, remarkable, outstanding communication is what I teach. And you could just link all these things together and people are like, whoa, that's so many sub adjectives. I can't even handle it. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. So adjectives, you can use as many or as little as you want. Um, try not to use more than like three in a row, because if you do that, people will be like, this guy is or girl is not telling me anything. They're just using fluff. We don't want to be fluffy. We want to be a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say sugar coat, but there's a little bit of padding or softening and then the thing that we're trying to deliver, right? So that's really important for that. Move on to the next category, verbs and adverbs. These ones are fun. Um, okay, so these are great for headlines. In fact, when you start headlines in emails or you're starting headlines or the first message that you're sending someone in the DMs, these words will help you. Okay, ready? Unlock. Let me unlock that for you. We're launch or launching. A great thing to talk about when we talk about launching. Most people, when they say, oh, I'm going to push that live or we're going to release that next week, get those words out of your vocabulary and replace all of them with launch. Oh, we're launching that next week because big professional organizations launch things, right? iPhone, iPhone, iPad, uh, Apple, they launch the new thing. It's not releasing next week. It's always a launch. Launch is a more powerful word. That's why you should use it instead of those other two. Suddenly is a good one. Like challenge, compare, easily, grow or growth, exploit, lavishly, love, delighted, and or soar are some of the verbs and adverb power words that you can use. Of course, if you're watching the screen here, um, you can take a snapshot of this. Uh, but these are great, great, great words to put into your marketing. Okay. FOMO. If you're missing out, what is this one? This one um, actually plays on one of the main biases of um, the, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's where they're like a group gathering. Like, I don't want to miss out. I want to be like those people. I want to be included in the group. Uh, there's a name for the, uh, man, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, so fear of missing out words that you can use. Special, limited, popular, exclusive, immediately, unlimited, just arrived, last chance, special offer, rare edge, hurry, or scarce. Timely, luxury, profitable, breakthrough, wealth, insider, urgent, successful, or last minute. These are the things that will convey the sense of urgency. Actually, it's called the urgency bias. Now that I think about it, um, in and the urgency bias says, "Oh my gosh, I have to take uh, I have to take action now, so that now I can just I can get in on the best deal and I can join the people that are already in and the smart people." And that's how you always want to position anything. FOMO is no look. Don't miss this out. Don't miss out on this. There's a lot of fast action guys that are, I can already see there's a bunch of people in our program right now. You want to come join these guys because they're going to be ahead of the curve. If you're riding a tidal wave, they're going to be on the tip, the, the front, the thing that's going to get to the finish line the fastest. If that's what you're looking to do, let's move now. Very timely, right? So uh, just as an example. Uh, and then we come into the last one here is trust. How do you build 
trust. Like one of the fastest ways to build trust is to talk about how to do this, the quality of that. This is tested. This is endorsed. This is professional. It's guaranteed. This is very reliable. This is confidential. Confidential is a good one. Uh, secrets and expert are played out and used a ton in the marketing world. You'll probably see, you know, like for example, Russell Brunson, one of my coaches directly, he has uh, secret secrets. He's got the dot com secrets, expert secrets, the traffic secrets. He's got the secret series, um, which is a good word. Like secrets is a great word, but just try not to use it too often. I would say maybe once every three to four months in a headline for an email as an example, right? Um, and with that said, I believe believe that is it for today. I wanted to be very direct and straightforward with these things because these 89 power words can not only change the way that you communicate, but they can cause people, opportunities, engaged leads to swim your way and buy your stuff. With that said, if this one was valuable, please smash that subscribe button, like the video and share this out to somebody else who can get better at sales. With that said, I can't wait to see you next time. Ciao for now. Thank you.